guys, we're here with Lenovo Legion. And we're gonna do an Ask TSM with your guys' questions. And me and Ming are very excited to answer those questions. So let's get started. At Alec de Tigre asks, if you win Worlds, what skins are you picking? I'm picking Zillion. You're not gonna make any money, no one plays that champ. So I'm making money, it's about the legacy. Making your mark, that's true. All right, I'm picking Ari. <laughs> there Just we go. Just for the money. Yeah, I mean, if I do win Worlds, I think it's gonna be a Nidalee skin. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think. Um, I think I would like, I would like a Riven skin, of, of course, but I think you have to play it, right? Yeah, you, have to, you have to play the champ. Yeah. Part two, I uh, think maybe Aurelia, Camille, one of those, probably. Signature champs? I like that. For the money, probably Thresh. If it's an actual champion, probably Connor Bard. Ooh. That'd be pretty cool, actually. And Senna, okay, next question. Senna? <laughs> yeah, actually, if it was about money, I'd definitely pick like Ezreal or something, but I think Lucian's actually decently popular. Yeah, right? you have a really famous highlight with Lucian. Yeah, I'd probably pick Lucian for a combo of money and like Roll the making clip. sense. The Weaver's Wall! Weaver's Wall oh. catches off a couple. Now can they have the follow-up damage? A couple of stuns come in. They've got Bjergsen, and they shut him down with a 1600 damage crit. Can I get double? Blow. Medios, another knock of Trace's life, but it does. Double lift! Gets the GA. Double kill your wall! Kills he everybody! Got They've got three. Impact goes down. And A's for TSM. All right, at the Northern Noble asks, hey guys, if you could move your team and play in any one league for a year, which would it be and why? What do you expect to learn and where would you end the regular season? LPL for sure. How many teams are there in LPL? 16? Would we be 16? No way. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Damn. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, for me, it's probably gonna be LPL. I really like their play style. I think we play kind of similarly to them. Um, and there's like really, there's a lot of good teams and good players and yeah, it's just gonna be a good experience, I think. Yeah, I think, I would say LSK or LPL too. It's because it's one of the best regions, so. <laughs> it would be fun, more fun to play and like, you would just get better faster. I would say LPL too, I think just, it just looks like a lot of fun playing in those games. The games are really fast paced and both teams feel like they can win the fight and it just comes down to kind of execution and mechanics. Whereas in NA, a lot of teams are really afraid of taking fights and they just want to play to scale. It looks, just looks a lot more exciting playing in those games. We wouldn't be 16th, I would say, but uh, it would be harder to get first, that's for sure. Yeah. LVL is scary over there. Like, there's just too many good you teams. You want to go to a minor region? Or yeah. <laughs> Smash? No, actually, yeah, yeah. I mean, boring, but I agree with what everyone else said. Nothing more to add. It's just, it looks fun. At Isaac P. S. for everyone, what do y'all do in your off time? This guy's from the South. Y'all. Like you, y'all, Vincent. Y'all? What do y'all do in your off time? For me, I just watch TV shows and anime. Yeah, I uh, watch shows. I play other games, Valorant, or just like finding random games on Steam to play and work out, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, recently, at least during this whole season, in my off time, I haven't been doing much. Like, mostly just playing solo queue. Like, maybe sometimes just going out like before the quarantine, I'll just go out to eat, you know, with my teammates. Um, but other than that, it's just, you know, in my leisure time, I just watch shows and that. It's just really not that much for me, at least. Yeah, I think going out was something very, re like it was really refreshing for me uh, before the quarantine. Because just because I could just reset my mental if I had a bad week or even a good week, it's, it's really nice to go out with your teammates or even friends. Other than that, I just, yeah, I just, play other games sometimes or play the piano and keep learning everything every day. Yeah, during the season mostly working out, playing piano, reading books. Such an intellectual. Yeah, I am an intellectual. Just Thanks. being handsome all the time and it's often. Yeah. That's, okay. That's, That's crazy. I, um, I Recently, I've been starting to watch The Boys. Season two just came out. Is and that then, a synonym for Tears and Legends? The boys. Yeah, I've been we are all superheroes. Yeah, in a way. Uh, for anime, I've been watching. I think it's called The God of High School. It's like a pretty good show. There's like eight episodes out or something. Was watching My Hero Academia, and since that finished, I've been recently watching like really nerdy stuff, like DC cinematic uh, movies, like Batman movies, the animated ones, Superman movies, Justice League movies. It's pretty fun. At B I O O asks, who plays the mo most league outside of practice in their off time? 
I think Spiga plays the most games. Yeah. A solo queue on average. Yeah, and if you include Aram, he's like doubling the next guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's me or Ming, actually. Yeah. It's one of us two, I think. I mean, I think I, some weeks it's more me, some like it's more Ming. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I do a swear in a decent amount, so we play similar. Beer Beric also plays a lot. But it just depends, because sometimes when I'm feeling it, I just spam solo queue on my off day. So it just really like fluctuates based on week. Yeah. I think the least <coughs> is our bottom lane. <laughs> if they beat him, I just be harsh. <laughs> like, yeah. No flame. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. I to each their own. Yeah, it's probably speaker or BB, if I had to say. But pro probably actually speaker for sure. All right, at Dezookbox asks If given the chance, which team would you avoid playing at Worlds and which team would you rather verse instead? Um, I would like to avoid playing against Tobby Sports. <laughs> I think that they're the best to you in the world and uh, rather play versus pretty much any other team. I feel like outside of like the extreme top teams like like Top Esports and Demon Gaming, I think most of the teams in the world are probably pretty matched in skill. Rather play versus FlyQuest. Or TL. Yeah, those work. I agree, except for the versus FlyQuest or TL part. For me, I, I would <clears throat> like to avoid the worst teams because we're here to have a challenge. And to win it all. No, like seriously, I think for, especially for me and Ming, where it's our first time. So I would like to get as much as possible from that experience. So I would like to play the best teams. And especially Diamond Gaming, I think they're really good. So I really like to play against them and see how good we are. And like, if they're really, that much better than us, how, how fast we can like get closer to them or like just, yeah, I think it will be really insane and it will be really fun when, once we're in China and start practicing. Yeah, I mean, definitely don't want to avoid like playing the good teams because it's definitely a really like valuable experience. It's like our first time going to Worlds. So it'll be like very interesting to see how we stack up against like other really insane players. Like I think I really respect players like Kanavi, Karsa, they're definitely like the, one of the, or regarded as the best jungler in the world. So definitely be interested to see how we like, or how I stack up against them. The, at the Moonshine31 asks, do you like having best of ones in regular season or would you rather have best of threes? For sure from a competitive standpoint, I'd rather have best of threes because usually just the better team ends up on top. I think I remember distinctly in 2017 actually, we were losing every first game and we probably would have ended up like fifth or sixth if it wasn't for best of threes, but we actually ended up first. Overall, I think best of threes are just better, but best of ones were initially put in because of viewership. I think viewership has gone up, I'm not sure, but I prefer best of threes. Same. Same. I think the best of one practice is good for like world's group stage and things like that, because we weren't really prepping super hard to win the first game. I think back then in 2017, it was kind of like, oh, we're gonna kind of go with this draft that we've been doing in practice, but then if we lose, we're just gonna buckle down and pick whatever uh, we need to pick to win. So there's kind of like different ups and downs practicing in best of three versus best of one, but I think best of three is just more enjoyable as a pro player. I think best of ones are just like, some teams use it better than others because some people have like really clutch counter picks, like for example, Viper is Riven and stuff like that. But I think for us, I think we can do both. We would be fine with both. Uh, I think we have good counter picks or like cheesy picks or like sometimes we, like last play we did a lot of level ones, which helped us getting a lot of wins. And in best of threes is like more who's actually the better team, right? Um, but I don't mind either. I think, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, personally, I don't really think it makes a difference. Um, I mean, best of three definitely gives you more experience. You play more games, you just learn more. But I think best of one definitely have its benefits, I think. I mean, in the end, it's what really matters is just having a good regular season placement and then you just uh, fight for the playoffs spots, which is fine in the playoffs pretty much. Wait, what? <laughs> it's this one right here. Yeah, I'm thinking about what my answer is going to be. You gotta read the question. At Retired Juggler asked, which old teammate do you miss playing with this most? The most. You guys can start. You just second to think. I mean, I would have said Bjergsen last split. <laughs> oh. All right, no, I actually not real. No. Don't say not. Jensen, don't say Jensen, I'm leaving. <laughs> don't say it. Don't say Core I JJ mean, either, no. we're right here. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Um, I have to censor my answer real quick, guys. I don't know, actually, I, that's a hard one. I, th I say maybe uh, Svenskar and Dennis, because um, he was always funny. Dennis is probably one of the most positive, the most funny, the most, like he spammed solo queue after scrims every single day. He, he played so hard, like, he always sent like supportive messages to his teammates and stuff. He was he was a great guy. So, yeah, I miss playing with him. But same time, we got speaking now, and he's smurfing. So I I miss the player. I miss the person, but I'd rather play with Ming, of course. I, I haven't <laughs> I've had a lot of old teammates, but um, the one I miss playing the most is I was I mean for Academy I play I think the one I miss the most is tactical. Um, I think we're really close. We have really similar personalities. Um, I really enjoyed playing with him when I was on TSM Academy. And then for LCS, I think I really missed playing with Smoothie. We, I mean, at least me, BB, and uh, Smoothie had really good out of work relationship. We hang out really often. So that was like a really fun time last year. Uh, for me, outside of LCS, it's definitely uh, Closer and Abudage. Those are one of my closest friends in my whole life, not only in League. I've grown a lot with them. Yeah, those are the two players that I miss the most outside of LCS and I think, yeah, I mean, I don't really have any bad relationships with the past, my, the, my past teammates, um, but I really had a great time with like, um, like Sven and Smoothie, like I really had fun like spending time with them. No, I think Dennis too. Uh... He's just always been a really positive guy, and it's good for the team atmosphere. It was similar with Acadian, I think. Acadian actually did a, he played a really big part in bringing our team together and making us go to the final where uh, Sven walked into the Skarner. Um, but yeah, Acadian just really helped like the feeling of the brotherhood in the team. And I think he was a really good teammate along with Smoothie. And uh, just having that feeling of a team makes a really big difference in how you perform, I think. I think Rainover was really enjoyable to play with, actually. He was always super positive, very nice. Never raged. Really nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> really handsome guy. He was a bundle of sunshine. Extremely handsome Korean superstar. Yeah. At Rocky Mountain Mike, how does Bjergsen feel about having Zillion Band in every game for the rest of his career? Feels pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it feels good when people are permabanning your champion because they. It always sucks feeling like you have to permaban a champion, especially if it's a champion you don't play yourself. I remember. When we were always banning Kuhi, really in Soul, Parth would always say, but if it's such a good champion, why don't you just play it? Can't you just play it too? And it's just not that simple, because it takes a long time to reach that level of mastery on a champion. So, yeah, it's a nice ego boost. At Ivy's Paloma, would Bjergsen rather play Zillion for the rest of his career, or never play Zillion again? I would play Zillion for the rest of my career, if I was at least able to ban out the counter picks. I think it's kind of relaxing to play, honestly. It's like very simple, and when you play him a lot, you just kind of know how it plays, and you can just worry more about the big picture things. It's kind of like playing Kaelin. When I play Kaelin too, it's kind of therapeutic, honestly. Why well, are you always trying to play by chance, bro? You play Kaelin Lucian every game. I just need to play a zillion and then we can flex it. Yeah. You can big brain. play top two like Bupo. Just Ooh. have to remember to use the ulti. Yeah, that's a tough one. Jensen knows. All right, this one's for me. Joe Lou Fook Martin. He asks, say double, what's your favorite moment being back on TSM? My favorite moment was probably after we won the series against TL and then BB messaged me, you played so well today, so something along those lines, like well played. And that felt really good because I feel like, you know, everyone on the team, we stepped up at different times during playoffs. And I guess the feeling of brotherhood of like everyone supporting each other and, and always having confidence in each other, that was a really nice moment. And so, yeah, I pretty much just chilled for the rest of the night. You know, we had still finals to play afterwards, but I felt really good that our team really felt like a team that was supporting each other. Uh, the next question is by Am Goat Lol. He asks, which ADC would you want to verse at Worlds this year? Actually, every single year I look forward to playing against Uzi and this is the first Worlds that doesn't have a Uzi, which is crazy. Just absolutely insane. Um, so, I mean, he's not there, but there's a lot of great AD carries. Maybe I'm really looking forward to playing against Jackie Love because he really smurfs every single game, no matter what the situation is. Um, and he's the number one seed from LPL, but I also played against him last MSI. We ended up beating IG, and I thought Dracula was good. He, he actually does a lot of things really well. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the rematch, and you know he's somebody that I think every player respects a lot, so it's just exciting to play against good players. At Velatic one how is Bjergsen so good while also staying so attractive? I want to know the answer too, man. <laughs> the secret really, it's 
what all male specimens need. I really have no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give a shout out to our fitness group, Hard and Hustle, for keeping us healthy and hot in the gym. Thank you guys for submitting all of your questions and thank you to Lenovo Legion for sponsoring this video. And make sure to subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for more content to come. Bye.